Hi guys. So I am just doing some cleaning. Dominoes. Oh my god, right. First world problems, I know, but I think I'll, I'll tell you a little story while I'm cleaning. Basically, I order from Domino's pretty much every week, right? Pizza's a must every week, do you know what I mean? Honestly, I'm cracking it, I ain't holding back. Anyway, life is too short to not eat what you want. I live in an apartment and it's really, really high up. It takes forever to get downstairs. Basically, I've never had to go downstairs myself and go and collect my food. I'm eight months pregnant, right? I'm tired as hell. It was 12 p.m. and the guy couldn't bother to find a parking space, so wanted me to go downstairs and get my food myself. I was like, I'm eight months pregnant. It's 12 p.m. and I've ordered. I've paid for my food. He was like, if you don't come and get it, I'm leaving. I was like. Babe, like I've, I've literally, I've paid for it, like you're not going anywhere. I was just, I've just never come across that before, like I've never had to, that like, I'm sure that's not the service, like that's, that's not what happens. But anyway, I know it's a first world problem, but... So that's three nails off on one hand now. I broke two yesterday and one today. Shit. <laughs> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some sliders. So I recently got sent some brownies from Booty. I think it's a new thing. I know that they do like the, uh, I know they do the teas, but I think the brownies are a new thing. It's high in protein and low sugar. It's got 18 grams per, uh, it's got 18 grams of protein per brownie, which is really good actually. Enjoy a Booty brownie between meals or on the go. For gooey brownie goodness, pop in the microwave for 20 seconds, allow to cool and enjoy. Ooh! By the way, before anyone starts crying, I've made sure that you can use it while you are pregnant. Right, I'll put this in the microwave. It smells like a brownie, so... Hoping that it's good. They're actually good. <laughs> you can tell it's low in sugar. It doesn't taste as sweet as like a natural brownie, but I mean, it is low sugar, so I guess it's bound to taste a little bit different. But it, it tastes really, really good for a protein brownie. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting much, but it's good. It has green tea in it as well. Look. Added green tea, high protein, low sugar. I'm sorry that the the light is so yellow, but it's because um it's starting to get to sunset now. And I have huge windows. This is what I mean by huge windows. Whatever, I need to lie down because I'm having some stomach cramps right now, so I can't stand up at the moment, so I'm going to talk like this. Um, so basically, uh, I'm in the spare bedroom right now, which is going to be still the spare bedroom, but basically uh, the baby's room. So we're putting, we're just sorting out all her furniture and stuff. The baby changing table came yesterday. Um, 
So when Michael comes back from work, it's a Sunday, so he finishes work a bit earlier. When Michael comes back from work, we are going to start putting that up. I'm so, so excited. Like, the room is finally starting to um, come along, and I love it. So the house has been, like, upside down because we've been sorting out furniture, getting new sofas on Thursday, and, um, like, I'll show you. Right, so at the moment, there's just been like, there's just been stuff in the hallway that's like wrapping paper for presents and they're just boxy things and a tripod. This is her cot, but we don't need to put that up at the moment, so that's going to go in the utility room. And then our baby changing tables here. I've, li I've just got boxes everywhere <laughs> and just washing and I just feel unorganized right now this is her Moses basket this is the stand for it got some cute little bits in here all this all this stuff will be going in the baby changing table but we didn't have anywhere to put it for now more clothes and then more stuff down there but um basically I know it's a work in progress like trying to sort things out and but I'm so impatient and and I just want things done now simply because when the house is a mess I feel really just gross <laughs> like I just feel really unmotivated because all I all I'm thinking about is the house is a mess and it's doing my head in our room's done now so that room stays tidy the spare bedroom the hallway the front room and slash kitchen it all just seems like one big mess because there's furniture everywhere and yeah there's just been like there's just been so much like on my mind recently with everything I just I, ha I feel like I have 101 things to do and I feel like I haven't got a lot of time I'm I'm um, eight months and I, I haven't got long. I just feel like there's so much to do, like sorting the house and then sorting, getting Christmas presents and then, I mean, my hospital bag's nearly done, but I've got to sort that and then I've got to get a baby bag now and then I've got to sort the baby bag out and then hopefully things, I, I worry about like, cause I want to do a water birth and I want to do it in the birthing center and I get scared that maybe she might come sooner so I won't be able to do that because I just have so many worries. The new year coming up and you know there's like adult things you've got to deal with there's bills and tax and crap stuff and um Ever since I've been pregnant, I just feel like I worry about the stupidest things ever. Like, li literally, the stupidest things ever. And I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry, if that makes sense. Like, I got wrapping paper the other day, and I wanted bows. I'm, I'm, I'm very, um, I take pride in my uh, Christmas wrapping. And uh, I couldn't find bows, and I got so upset. <laughs> I got really upset that I couldn't find Christmas bros. It was really bad. I feel like a mess because I used to be such a positive, happy person. Like, I didn't let anything get to me at all. Like, I honestly, I didn't care about anything. And I just feel like that's, I'm not the same person anymore. And I really, really hope I go back to the person that I was. I can't shake this feeling of like being lonely as well. Um, even when I'm not alone I feel quite lonely and I think I've googled it and stuff because I felt like a weirdo um, but it, this is common with many pregnant with many pregnant ladies because you know you feel like you can't you can't do a lot like me popping to West me popping to Westfield and Oxford Street or just anywhere in central London or anything like it's a task now it's not 
it's not easy like I'm waddling and I get in pain and I just feel like I'm like in the house quite a lot and I'm far from my I don't know what I'm getting upset I'm not far from my family and friends but they live like hour and a half two hours away from me by car and I can't just like go s I have friends here I don't have girlfriends here my main girlfriends like Jess and my friend Charlotte and stuff they're all where I used to live and I, I wish I could just like say like hey let's go get our nails done let's, let's go gym let's go shopping let's do anything and I really 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 miss having my family around <sighs> every time my mum comes here I just I cry every time she leaves I'm close to all, like I'm close to all my family. <laughs> Me and my little brother, we have such a good relationship. I'm close to all my family, my sisters, my brothers, my niece, everyone, my bloody dog. I miss everyone so much and it's like I know I can call and like we could speak all the time. But I I really just wish I could just go see them. Like I mo I moved to London. Like it was it was up to me. This is this is what I wanted to do. And I'm still happy I moved to London. I just wish I could have everyone with me. And I can't wait till I've got enough money so I can just move my mum wherever I am. Cause she's she's honestly like she's my best friend. Ever since I've got pregnant, I've ended up appreciating her more than I already did. Like, realising, like, what she's had to go through and, like, how much she puts us first and, like, the thing. I am not even... My baby's not even here yet and the preparation and making sure you've got everything and I know that when I see my baby and stuff I'm gonna do everything I can to make them happy and that's just what parents do. I love London like this is where I want to be. I just miss my family and my friends. This is a little side to me that you lot don't see too often. I get down a lot like everyone else. I go through things like everyone else. I'm stressed out right now like about so many things stuff I stuff I don't particularly want to discuss at the moment but like I just feel like just stressed but I think it's I think it's to do with hormones why I, I'm kind of like this because I never used to be like this not this emotional anyway so hopefully I'm praying to God that the old J comes back but a bed better version anyway so michael will be home in like two hours so um i'll catch you later <laughs> we did i have just finished editing thank you and how are you guys doing uh, i've been doing most of the work today. this is michael's cousin by the way yo what up Okay, good one. Yeah, good one. You're a good look. You're the good looking one. Yeah, the family. That's what I've been told anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come here, man. Tee -hee. I haven't done any of this. This is why it's great to be pregnant sometimes because no one expects you to do any of this. I think you should change to be honest. <laughs> I second that. <laughs> I've had to work really hard for this many months. Therefore, I feel like I deserve the break. Yeah.
Up to this point. This is exciting, isn't it? I had so many mistakes. Actually, sorry. Have you actually? No, Michael's had so many mistakes. Don't say Michael, because I've How many mistakes have you done? It's been alright. And we've had to start again twice in a minute. Oh, right, yeah, yeah I, I do it right. Oh, hold on. Yeah, do it right. Yeah, I do, I, I do it right. So pretty. You know how I love you guys and all that, yeah? Um, yeah. I, I like to help Thank you. Right. All right, well, I'll be off then. That's it. That's it. It's all right. You're doing well. Oh, my God. Oh, damn it, man. <laughs> Why are you struggling? Put it up. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're annoying, I'm going. Goodbye. Have fun. Let me help you out here. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs> This is what her baby changing table looks like. I'm so pleased with it. I love it so much. This is from Mamas and Papas, by the way. The boys did such a good job. It's got three compartments in this bit, two compartments in this bit, and then one on the bottom. And then obviously this is where her baby changing mat is gonna be. When we get it, I'm gonna get like, pot pot things and put like um uh, I know cotton pads, cotton balls and what else is small that can go in. And uh I don't know. But I'm gonna put wet wipes and nappies in the top drawer. I'm gonna wait for when my mum comes back round and then she can help me organise it. Cause if I organise it she's probably gonna reorganise it anyway so <laughs> I'll just wait for her. So much stuff. I can't wait till it's all complete. Anyway, so, um, uh, looks really pretty. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Sorry, it was really, really emotional. It felt quite nice to, it felt quite nice to talk. Maybe I should turn this way. Yeah. Yeah, it felt really, really good to talk and, let you guys know how I'm feeling. But now I'm gonna go make dinner for us. Michael, I'm sure, is a very hungry man right now. He just had to build that whole thing. And it was literally like in pieces, if you would have seen. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.